Hello and welcome to the theory of semiconductor devices course. I'm Dong Ho Kang and I am an instructor of this course. So I'm making this video to introduce this course and tell you a brief story what we will learn in this course. If you have any questions about the lecture, please send an email uh, to this uh, email address. Or you can visit my office. The main textbook of this course is the class notes that I will upload. If you need more information about the lecture, you can also refer to books like here. And grading is shown like here. Okay, so now I'd like to introduce what we will learn in this course. In the recent years, we have a lot of electronics such as mobile phone, computer, and so on. Each electronics have a very complicated uh, circuit board, which is based on this kind of architecture. The main part of this circuit is a processor, known as CPU. So if you look at the CPU closely, you can see this kind of uh, complex interconnection of metal wires. And if you look at it much more closely, you can see the structures of transistors. And if you look at it even more closely, uh, you can see this one, the silicon atoms. So in this course, we will learn the most part of the semiconductor physics, from the silicon crystalline structure to the energy band diagram, which consists of energy band formation, carrier motion, generation and recombination, PN junction, and metal oxide semiconductor capacitor. But when you open the textbook, you can see a lot of formulas. So actually, it's not intuitive, so it is easy to miss the big picture how a semiconductor device works. So I'd like to say, you don't need to memorize all the formulas. The important thing is to understand the principle in a more intuitive way. So this is a simple example that the way we will learn the semiconductor device in this course. If you can imagine the situation of equilibrium and non-equilibrium of source semiconductor drain, you can understand a big picture. For example, an equilibrium of source semiconductor drain is that uh, the water in a, a two bottles and there is no water pressure. So water cannot move anywhere. But when uh, the water pressure, pressure is here between the two bottles, this is uh, the same in the situation that the voltage is applied, applied uh, between the source and drain electrodes. So the water or electron can move from left to the right. So here, the band diagram may help you to understand uh, how the semiconductor device works in a variety number of situations. So we will use uh, this kind of band diagram all the time. You can also see the levels of this course. Okay, so thank you for hearing my introduction. And if you have in, uh, any uh, interest, hope you see uh, in this course.